Hello Capricorn and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for February 23rd through the 29th. In this reading we are going to pull a few of the Wisdom of the Oracle cards to kind of tap into the energy. We will then get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot and break it down with an original tarot deck, okay? Please keep in mind that this message here on YouTube is general. You are welcome to check other placements in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If the title resonates, there's most likely something in the message. Also, time and energy is fluid, so you may find it resonates now. Some find it resonates later. You also may find that rules may be reversed. Take it how it resonates. Leave the rest. You will also know if the message is meant for you by the feeling that you get the pull towards the message. So just keep that in mind, okay? So let's get started, Capricorn. We're going to start with a little blessing first and jump right into this. So please, Spirit, we thank you for the most important, positive, and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow clear and positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. Thank you again, Spirit, and blessed be. All right, let's get into these energies. So, most important message here for Capricorn, February 23rd through the 29th. Please and thank you, Spirit. Also, guys, I still do the drawing here every month. I'm kind of switching things up. So instead of having you guys comment below, I'm just going to choose three subscribers every month. So if you want to get entered into the drawing, subscribe to the channel, comment below, thumbs up, all the fun stuff. Let's see. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. February 23rd through the 29th. Most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. Please and thank you. One more card. Exchanging gifts. No place like home. Unfinished symphony. And the fates. So there's definitely a situation here. It's like unfinished business. Um, I do feel like there's a lesson that it's kind of like a lesson that's coming back around to see if you've learned like a test, if you will. Okay. I do feel like there is something that you still need to learn from the situation. But I do feel like you have the power, you have the strength and the confidence to make it through. So let's see. Let's see here, Capricorn, what we can see for you guys. Most important message here for Capricorn spirit. What does Capricorn need to see? February 23rd through the 29th. Two of Summer, Ace of Autumn, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Let's see if those cards come back out here, Capricorn, for this week important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see? So like I said, there's a lesson that is coming back around for sure. I feel like this is a situation that there has been deception in the past. Um, lies, 
I feel like what the cards are saying here is to kind of take a step back from the situation. So five of cup, five of summer is five of cups, the hermit. Seven of winter is seven of swords and princess of summer is the page of cups. Okay. So what this is telling me here, Capricorn, is I feel like somebody may be coming back with an apology here. Coming back in with an apology. So let's see. I do feel like there is a need to be cautious here because we have the Seven of Swords. But this could also be part of the apology, what they're apologizing for. So let's get a few more cards out here and see what else we can see. Because this is getting interesting. Mm -hmm. Caution. Prince of Autumn is the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant and the Tower. So, be cautious, be meticulous in the details when moving forward, take your time, slow and steady wins the race, okay? There's going to be definitely some big changes that are going to be happening here. Okay, um, three out of seven cards are major arcana. I also feel like um, this tower is going to, this could be the ending of the situation. Like this person finally gets frustrated with coming back in, trying to pursue this. And because you put your foot down, they're going to finally walk away. Okay. But this, because we have the Hierophant card here, I do kind of get a sense for some of you that this person may be willing to kind of work together, work on this. So let's get the tarot cards out and kind of see where this is headed, um, where this is going, Capricorn, for this week. Because here so far... It's telling you to be very cautious and wise moving forward. Take your time, introspect, be sure that everything is in alignment and everything is balanced, okay? But of course, you're going to make sure that it's in alignment and in balance for Capricorn's best interest, right? So let's see. Let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. Scene. Self care. Self care routine. Most important message here for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to see for February 23rd through the 29th? Please and thank you. Also understand here that this, this tower moment is like a shock, a shock ending. Okay. But this could be ending to a relationship, a job. Um, it could also be an ending to like a belief system or a period of time. It could also be the ending of this introspection period. So Tower to the Star, this is a, an ending that is bringing back balance. It's bringing back healing. This is a lot of major changes here, Capricorn. Let's see what else comes out here. Because with the Strength card now, you have the strength to make it through this. Of course, that symbolizes, also can symbolize um, taming that inner beast you know, letting go of belief systems that are holding you back from achieving the goals that you truly want to achieve. OK, 
okay? No more withholding. This could be you, this could be a, the other person, but I feel like somebody was definitely withholding their energy in this situation or this belief system that you are changing within you, Capricorn, was holding you back. So what I see here so far, tower to the star, strength to the lovers, and then we have the four of pentacles in reverse with the nine of pentacles, okay? These first four cards here, I feel like this is definitely a belief system around relationships. There's something, maybe your approach to relationships or um, how you are trying to approach a partnership needed to change. I get the sense here, Capricorn, that this person that's coming back, this unfinished business that's coming back into your life, it's almost like this recalibration of your system, your relationship system. It's like there was maybe, maybe you were, there was some pain from a past relationship that was holding you back. And this is just an example. This is um, kind of what I'm seeing here is there was maybe a relationship in the past that didn't work out that you really thought was the one. And it, because you had that type of an ending or that situation that had happened, you would always kind of not put full effort into a relationship and now with this person, this unfinished symphony coming back around, it's kind of recalibrating that pain, okay? This person is going to trigger this past situation that you're healing from, whatever it is. It could be, it could be the example that I gave, something similar to that, where there was a pain in a past relationship, somebody had left you, something along those lines. There's some type of belief system around relationships here, Capricorn, that is being corrected right now. And this person coming back, they're triggering you. They're triggering this response out of you, okay? Because after we have this the tower, the star, the strength, and the lovers. Then we have the four of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. So this is like releasing this energy, focusing on self, self-care, what it is that you truly want, what's going to make Capricorn happy. And then we have the ten of cups coming out with the sun card. So I feel like Capricorn, what you want here is that family, emotional fulfillment, that happy family type of scenario. Okay. That's ultimately what you want. But I feel like in the past you haven't always, you haven't always carried yourself as such, right? So if we want something to come to fruition in our life, we have to kind of create the space. There's a saying that they say, if you want a woman to be an angel, you have to create heaven because angels don't live in hell. <clears throat> it's kind of like that. If you want a person to act a certain way, you have to create the space in, in which you want that to thrive. And I feel like you're kind of realizing that right now, that this belief system that you, how you were approaching relationships before was hindering your progress from getting what you truly wanted. Mm -hmm. So these illusions 
sun to the moon. So this is kind of regression, right? Going backwards. I feel like once you discover, once you kind of go within and introspect, it may feel like you're going backwards a little bit, okay? It may feel like you're going backwards, but I feel like this progression is kind of you figuring out, like, man, there's something that's really hindering me from getting what I truly want. And maybe it's me. You know, it's most likely both parties, but maybe I have a part to play in this. And then the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Wands. I feel like this is more like an inner battle, an inner conflict that you're ultimately Capricorn if you take the time to go within and get clarity on what it is that you want this to be, okay? What does this outcome look like? What is this Ten of Cups Sun card look like to you? Once everything's said and done, you're married, you're comfortable, you've achieved your goals and your dreams and you're just sitting around the sunset and the fire pit reminiscing with a glass of wine, what does your life look like? Because once you're clear on what you want, then you can see, okay, this person isn't going to align with that because they're on a different path. Okay, this person, it's looking like a really good fit because they have a lot of same qualities, attributes as where I'm headed, or they want a lot of the same things. Once you get clear on what it is that you want the outcome to be, right? What is your proverbial throne that you're sitting on look like, okay? That's when everything is going to come into alignment. The last two cards, the Four of Wands with the Nine of Cups. These last three cards came out together, so we'll take them. But I feel like what this is saying is, ultimately Capricorn, once you're clear on what it is that you truly want the outcome to be in your life and why, that's when this wish fulfillment is going to come in what everything that your heart desired, everything that you wrote down on that paper that this outcome looks like, that's when it starts coming to fruition. So let's see here. Let's take a couple cards for some advice. I'm going to do an extended reading here, Capricorn, and I'm going to take a look at what this unfinished business is, okay? I want to look at what's going on there since nothing about that came out, okay? What is this unfinished business? Also want to take a look at um, where this is headed. We'll pull out the Psychic Tarot, the Guidance Cards, the Soul Truth. If that's something you're interested in, the link will be below in the description box, okay? This person, I feel like, is coming back in for closure. They may very well have been spying on you. I also see degression in their kind of status, too. Okay, this could be an air sign. But I feel like they may want a reconciliation. They may be offering you your wish fulfillment. Okay, what it is that you want everything that your heart desires, but you're going to have to make a decision Capricorn in your best interest. You know, is this person being honest? Are they being real? Slow and steady wins the race. So if they can't, if they're going to react and be all fast paced and they can't go slow because they're an air sign and they're hasty, they're fast thinking, fast acting on their toes, you're going to really have to decide, 
if that's something that you're going to to see if this is in alignment with where you're headed or not with where you see your outcome being okay so capricorn it's unfinished business that's coming back in it's going to give you an opportunity to recalibrate this outlook on relationships So the power thought card that's coming out for you, Capricorn, is I see clearly. I willingly forgive. I breathe love into my vision and I see with compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight. I see clearly so. Capricorn. That is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Again, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.